Hi, kindergarten artists. Today we're going to learn how to draw a seahorse inspired by the book Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. I'm going to show you a picture of a seahorse. I'm going to include a link to the story Mr. Seahorse and then we're going to get started. to enjoy the story Mr. Seahorse that's one of my favorite okay so we're gonna learn how to draw a seahorse so I'm gonna make it big in the center of the paper I'm gonna start by drawing a straight line like this okay we're gonna curve up like this and then we're gonna draw a straight line like this we're gonna go up down curve in like that Okay, and then we're gonna draw his belly, curve line down like this. Okay, then we're gonna bring it up, curve it in, we're gonna go around like this, and we're going to connect it up here like that. Okay, and then we're gonna add an eye. And then around, he has those really cool shapes that go around like this. You can do triangles, you can do ovals, but these go all the way around to the bottom where there's a, another fin right here. Okay, so what, and I'm gonna actually put a line here for his mouth, he's smiling. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with uh, some texture in this drawing. So I'm just going to get, grab um, just some different color crayons. I'm gonna use orange and let's see, green, blue, and some yellow, okay. And I'm just gonna color some just random areas in the different colors. You can do it however you want. I want to blend and mix up the colors and then I'm going to paint over them and again you can color through any way you want to try not to copy me you can come up with your own way of coloring maybe you can add patterns some lines in there And what's cool is if you take the paper off the crayon and you hold it, I'm actually gonna cut this out, and you hold it to the side, it'll color faster and you can create some texture. Look at that. Let me get some of those. Let me get it. Uh, that's a boy, so I'm gonna use this bow here. Isn't that cool? There we go. So now, I'm gonna color his these different, oops. I'm not gonna do any sort of special pattern here. I'm just gonna color how they are. And again, it's up to you if you wanna do a pattern or not, but make sure it's very colorful. Okay, so that's done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick a blue color and I'm going to paint over this. And what's gonna happen is wherever I paint, certain areas will take in the paint and certain areas will not. So I'm just painting a blue, just a simple blue overlay on the entire thing. And this is what we call crayon resist. Oops, I forgot to color in there. Right, 
So crayon resist is where the crayon shows up even after you've painted it. And your crayon um, is underneath because the water and the wax from the crayon don't like each other, so it won't paint. So then I take a tissue and I just kind of do this to wipe it off. And then you could see the areas where the paint went inside. You don't, If you don't have paint, it's fine. You can just use um, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have. And then I'm gonna make a really cool background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some curvy lines that represent um, the water with my white crayon. Now you're not gonna see it, but I'll show you what's gonna happen in a second. Maybe I'll make some circles, some little dots, some circles around here. Can't see what I'm doing, but watch the magic, right? So now I'm gonna take my blue paint for the water. And I'm gonna paint over and look what happens. The crayon shows up. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna mix blue and I'm gonna blend blue and green together. I'm gonna to add some water so that the colors aren't so dark. And look, every line that I did is going to show up now. We did this technique when we did our bears. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm done with my background. As you can see, I did, um, I just blended the blue and the green with the paint, and then I cut my seahorse out. Okay, and then now I'm gonna paste my seahorse right in the ocean. If I can find my glue, there it is. Put some glue here. So I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Don't forget to send me a picture. Thanks. Bye-bye.